For the first time ever, Georgia has made it legal to grow and process hemp as long as there are labs to test the THC levels. Kayla Solomon spoke to one woman who opened a lab right here in Macon specifically for testing hemp. SJ Labs and Analytics is the first hemp testing lab in the state of Georgia, and it's right here in Macon. Owner Sarah Johnson says she's ready to get to work. Hemp is federally legal. It's defined as a THC level of 0.3%, so it's a bit different from weed or marijuana. Under the Georgia Hemp Farming Act, farmers can now legally grow and process hemp across the state. And part of that legislation requires that they have testing by an independent lab that confirms that it is in fact hemp and not cannabis, so that the THC level is below the psychoactive level. Sarah Johnson says that's where her new lab comes into play, SJ Labs and Analytics. Help the farmer and the processor in their development of a good process and risk management of their crops. Um, and just kind of figure out with everybody about how do we move this new industry forward and very unprecedented time. According to the Georgia Department of Agriculture, there are over 80 state approved hemp growers in the state. But Johnson says her lab offers more than just potency tests for growers. They also offer testing services such as pesticides, residual solvents, terpene analysis, mycotoxins, heavy metals and microbiology screens. Those ensure safety for the consumer at the end product. Johnson says as of right now, they have a staff of three people, but that could change by 2021. Hope to be able to bring in a couple technicians by the end of the year. Right now we're in the process of setting up the methods and really getting the uh, method development ironed out. Johnson says right now their main targets are Georgia growers, but they do hope to branch out to other growers in other states. And Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Johnson says they are also looking into possibly having student interns who are interested in science by next year.